Good evening, fellow thieves. My name is Soledo, and I've been gone for a while. I got super busy with school, so I didn't really found that much time to record. But as you probably have noticed already, a new update was just released for King of Thieves, and we're gonna take a look. Also, if you wanna play this game for free on Android or iOS, there will be a sponsored link below in the description, which you can click to download the game for free. So, okay, let's take a look at all the new stuff that got released with patch 2.6. So first of all, there is a new unique gem. You probably remember the feather gem, uh, but that gem no longer exists. Now there's this new strange bell uh, gem, uh, which has like this golden bell inside of it. It's quite strange. And if we click the question mark over here, we can see what it is exactly. And it's a tinkling gem. And basically it's exactly the same as a feather gem, which is kind of a disappointment. So it's a unique gem, gives 15 uh, orbs uh, for each ritual, is disguised during the ritual and cannot be retrieved. So it's exactly the same as a feather gem, it just has a different name and it looks different. Although it looks pretty cool, it would have been more cooler if it actually did something different from the feather gem because you can actually no longer obtain a feather gem apart from stealing it from other players then, but it can no longer be received as a reward through challenges. And that's kind of sad. I wish that they would have like kept the feather gem and I don't know, they should have found a, a different way of implementing this new gem because I kind of like the feather gem and this tinkling gem is exactly the same. So they didn't really add anything. Also, though, one thing that is really cool is that there is a new form of challenge with what, which wasn't available with the previous challenges and is the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Challenge. And basically you need to obtain as many stars from raiding other players. And the guy who gets the most stars uh, basically gets placed on top. So here we can see the top player has 562 stars. That's quite impressive. Uh, so we'll definitely try and compete uh, with these top players. So that's one really cool thing uh, the new update brought us. So then there are also some new leaks. So let's take a look. So previously we had to battle these legendary legends who returned from the death or something. Well, basically after you defeated those, you get matched upon the gods, which is even more insane. So right now I'm in the Orbusius League or something. It's really hard to pronounce. And basically we're battling Orbusius, uh, which is a god of thieves. And there, as you can see, we'll have to face three gods up until we reach the King of Kings League. And the King of Kings League is really special. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But as you can see, basically these god leagues are exactly the same as like the legendary kings who returned from the death. Uh, because you also get 150 orbs and 100k gold if you are in top three, so which is basically exactly the same, just more of the same. I wish they did something more unique uh, with these uh, leaks, but yeah. So as you can see, I'm currently ranked five and I'll do my best to get to the next leak where we will have to face another god. So that's quite impressive. But now the cool part is what happens if you reach the King of Kings League? Because uh, the Kings League no longer exists. Like they have completely removed that out of the game. And now we have the um, King of Kings League. Also note that these God Leagues are uh, based upon your Delta and not on your total gem value. So that's quite important to keep in mind. So basically when you go to the Kings League, uh, the King of Kings League, you get certain rewards. I don't know them, but the best reward is for the number one player. Uh, and he will get a very special award because keep in mind, like all these God leaks and all the previous leaks, there you only had 25 players, I guess. Let's take a look how many are in this league. Yeah, and the 25 players. But in the King of Kings League, every single player in the game who gets there will put be put against each other. So there will be lots of players in this Kings of Kings League. And basically, the number one player, so the guy with the most Delta, who is in the Kings of Kings League, will receive a very special reward. It's a new costume. Because as you can see right here, uh, up until today, uh, White Shadow was the best outfit in the game. As you can see, I have a level four White Shadow, which is already quite impressive. And I might be able to like upgrade it all the way to level five. 
And then what you get have basically a level five white channel has 300 health and 70% and all these bonuses. So that's an enormous boost, but there, uh, there has been released a new outfit. If I can scroll, it's right over here is the King of Kings. And this guy looks super dope. He looks so cool, man. He has a crown, he has that cool looking rope. And basically he is the best outfit in the game, the King of Kings. He has 350 health and 80% in each and every bonus. Like this health is insane, man. He can just suicide so many times against traps. I'm not even sure if a level 30 trap will be enough to stop him. Probably not. So this outfit is pretty overpowered, but only one guy can get it because as it says, grants to the current winner of the King of Kings League. So basically only one guy at a time can get this outfit and like you only get it for a limited time because if you lose or if you no longer the winner of the King of Kings League, you will lose this outfit. But as you can see, it's quite impressive and it's definitely worth it to try and get this. But one thing which kind of disappoints me is that this is, this is basically content created for one single player. Like there are millions of King of Thieves players and like this King of Kings outfit is only for one single player. That's insane. And like, I will probably never have the privilege to play with this King of Kings. And you probably won't either, unless you're a top player, obviously. So this kind of bothers me. And like, they put all this effort in this and making this new outfit. And like only one guy will have the joy of playing with this outfit. So that's kind of a little disappointment, but to be fair, it is pretty cool that they added this to the game. Also, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the cost of the White Shadow to upgrade all the way to level five has been reduced by one mushroom and one eye. I think it previously was like 10 eyes and 10 mushrooms, but I'm not entirely sure. So I will probably get my White Shadow level five pretty soon. And then I will also have a pretty cool outfit and probably won't need this King of Kings outfit. Uh, so that those were two or three major updates they've added. And then there's one last thing, which I think is like a super update and this really need to be in the game. So let's find a match uh, to show you this new update. Um, yeah, let's take for example, this one here. So tap to break in. And now we're gonna try to get to the chest, so. Oh my God, this is impossible. You've probably have something before. So what you can do then is click on this button and it says, are you sure you want a kit? Because like I just rage quitted, this base was way too hard for me, so we click yes. And now we get a pop-up. Do you want to see the dungeon solution before you quit? And this is really cool because now we're gonna watch the dungeon solution. So let's see how this is done. And it's done like that. So and this is really cool because I might have thought this dungeon was impossible and was saved by hacks. But as you can clearly see, this dungeon is actually legit and a player was able to save it. So this is super cool. And like, it's also a great learning tool for new players because basically you get to watch how these super difficult jumps are done. So this is a great uh, addition to the game and I'm very glad they put this into the game. So yeah, we have four things which have changed in this update. You have the dungeon solution. We have the new leaks with the King's League, a new costume with all, which only one player will get and like a new gem which is basically the same as a feather gem. So this isn't that big of an update, but like the new challenge is pretty cool. The twinkle twinkle little star challenge. I like that. And new leaks are always cool, obviously. But and the solution is definitely the best change in this update. I really hope they will like release new outfits, which do special things like which don't just have like these standard three things like they should add more bonuses to costumes in my opinion but we'll see what they do uh but overall i'm pretty glad with this new update i'm still playing king of, uh king of thieves although i don't have that much time and i will definitely try my best to make new videos in the future and i'll definitely make a video when i get a level five shadow and i'm also pretty close at ma maxing out everything so 
my gold mine capacity is all going all the way to level 22 and I think it has a maximum of 26. And then I have to upgrade my gold mine speed and my locks I will never, never upgrade those. So I'm pretty close at being fully maxed. So that will be pretty cool to see. So guys, if you'd like this video, definitely give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get updated on future King of Thieves content.